getting calm by meditating. Hi, this is Tim, and I would like you to welcome you to another episode of The Daily Doable. Today, joining me, and I'll flip the camera around so you can see. Today, joining me is Remy. And right before we came on, she was rather agitated. She was far from being calm. And she's kind of a good metaphor for us to use today because when she was uh, in her pen, the birds were disrupting her and the squirrels were coming too close. So she was barking like crazy. But now, you know, she's just sniffing around. She's pretty calm. And we want to talk about that because what I did was remove her from the things that were agitating her. Now, in the previous episodes, we've talked about canines, cats, and critters uh, helping us get calm. We've talked about accepting and acknowledging our anxiety. We've also talked about letting it go. And today we're going to talk about meditating and meditating as it applies and helps us to get calm. So let's go for our walk, Went Remy, come on. So she's going to be sniffing, I think, while we go here. Getting calm by meditating. Now, using Remy as the example, as I said, what I did was I removed her from the distractions that were causing her anxiety. So now she's more calm. Now, that could change if we jump a rabbit, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. But the idea that I want to, to share with you today is Meditating can mean a number of different things for people. For some, it means sitting quietly and just thinking. For others, it means going for a drive. Or for others, it might even mean walking. Now, for me, I can sit and just be quiet, and that helps me to get calm. Or I can go for a walk like I am with Remy. Whatever it is, um, that's what you should be doing for yourself. Now, the other thing that I've mentioned is that when you sit quietly or go for a drive or you walk, what you're really doing is removing yourself from the distractions that can cause you some anxiety. And a question I would like to ask you as we continue with this then is, do you think what you think about? Do you think what you think about? In other words, are you focusing on, are you thinking on things that would upset you? For example, like the daily news. What I've done lately is just turn the news off. In the past, I've been, I've had the news on all the time and I find that I get more agitated by watching it. Now, I'm not suggesting we put our head in the sand and ignore what's going on in the world, but a constant diet of the daily news is not going to keep us calm. It's designed to do just the opposite. It's designed to agitate us. And I figure if there's something bad enough that happens, I'll have someone in my life will tell me. And so that's how I've decided to to deal with the news right now. But let me suggest to you while you're meditating that there are some things you can be thinking about. Now you could think about these when you're just sitting in, in a quiet room. You can think about these when you're driving or you can think about these when you walk. Here's a, here's a short list, but it's a pretty good list, I think. There are true things you can think about honorable things you can think about, things that are just, things that are pure, things that are lovely, or things that are commendable. Now, I'm not going to take the time to dig deep into each one of these. I think we'll save uh, individual episodes for those things. But that's a pretty good list that if you're focusing and thinking about things like these, uh, it will help to calm you down. 
So we'll wrap up this series. Again, this is the, the fourth in the, the four letters of the word calm. And it's the idea of meditating. So your daily doable is to meditate. Get calm by meditating. But make sure you're thinking and meditating about things that are going to keep you calm. And watch for me in future episodes. We'll dig deeper into each one of these uh, specific things that I mentioned in that list. So until next time, this is Tim encouraging you to do what you can now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.